everybody it's hyper and today i'm going to be looking at the trailer as well as the content that should be coming up in the 0.7 update for scum otherwise known as the wings of fury update i've been super hyped for this one is probably the uh, update i've been looking forward to the most since i've been playing scum and i think it's going to have a lot of cool stuff so first we're going to look at uh, what we can pretty much guarantee will be in the update some other stuff that may or may not be there it's kind of unconfirmed and then we'll look at some stuff that has something to do with the update but may not be there upon the release of that update and will be um, added in as uh, content further on in the game maybe with some patches or hot fixes we'll see but uh, without any further ado let's get in and uh, take a look at this trailer for 0.7 i got a kick out of it that's for sure i'm sure you all know what to expect from game buyers and their trailers so let's see <laughs> oh gosh of course it is i don't know if you guys recognize that tune yet oh gosh yep here we go getting some tom cruise vibes here a little bit of an off-brand, not quite Top Gun Anthem. <laughs> Copying that scene of him racing the F-15 on the runway. <laughs> With his little uh, trailer park grin right there. Not necessarily pearly whites, but it's good enough for scum, right? Little biplane. And god, that game, this game just looks so beautiful. Little action shot right there, piloting. Gosh, they just always go over the top. See, I, I don't recognize this. This might be a new part of the map. A little inversion right there. Serious look on the pilot's face. Close up on the cockpit. That's super cool. And there, the huge map of scum. I don't know if maybe they're going to expand it more this update. We'll have to see. Gotta love it though. Top Gun. Top Gun and scum. Two of the best things on the planet. Game Pyres hits a home run again with their trailer. At least for me. <laughs> and that brings us to this little screen at the end that shows what to expect. We got airplanes, parachutes, outposts, economy system, NPCs, and network optimizations. And that brings us to airplanes. So it looks like we got crop dusters, airstrip locations. I imagine that's where they're going to be spawning in the world, which makes the most sense. And then dogfights. So we now know that the airplanes will have armaments of some kind. So let's take a look. We have a little uh, tech demo of the flight controls and how it's going to look and how, like, I guess the planes will handle. And I thought this was super cool. I don't know if anybody knows anything or has an experience of, like, flying a small plane like this, but it can be um, pretty responsive and that can be a good or a bad thing. But watch this. They, they take this plane and they're trying to land it on top of this little uh, factory. So let's see how this ends up. And look, look at that touchdown. That's just beautiful, beautiful landing. And there they go, they drift around. Like, that's super shot. We have uh, some more intense action. It looks like uh, we've got a little dogfight action going on right here. Um, little plane doing some maneuvers, trying to, you know, outmaneuver the guys behind him, shooting at him on his tail. And it looks like, what, there's three other planes besides our main pilot here, our protagonist, I guess, from first person view. And just look how beautiful that cockpit is, and look how. How nice that flying looks. It just looks beautiful. And he's just right through the hangar. Like, how cool is that? Doing these stunts and stuff. So, definitely have <laughs> have some cool things to look forward to. Like, how awesome that is. Like, dogfighting other prisoners on Scum Island. Like, I can't wait for that. It's going to be so cool. And I know a lot of people are kind of disappointed because they're like, oh, that's going to be too OP. People are going to abuse it. It's going to be like GTA with the... Uh, Oppressors. I don't think it's going to be that bad for a number of reasons, which I'll show you, but I'm just super hyped. This looks like it's going to be a ton of fun. And there we go, right back through that hangar. Gosh, that's never going to get old. I'm going to have to try that myself and uh, put it on YouTube so you guys can see me failing several times. And here we've got another random still of an airplane, which I imagine crashed, and this is the aftermath of it hanging out on one of the um, power lines. <laughs> I don't know, that's kind of cool. And this night shot, I think, is awesome. Here you get a look at what it's going to be like to have these planes bearing down on you and just like opening up. And I see that trail from that second plane there coming in from the left side. You see how there's like that smoke trail, that kind of illuminated thing through the night vision. I wonder if that's part of like a feature like you could turn on and off like there are smoke trails. I think that that maybe it could also be an engine getting shot out and that's like the fireball and the smoke behind it. I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments. Either way, it looks great and Game Pirates is doing awesome with the, how just cinematic this game is uh, so far. It's just this brings us to the next part as to why I personally don't believe they're overpowered. Um, they, they show like um, how people were concerned that you'd be able to just raid a base super easily, but like, look at this. Look at these like uh, guns lighting you up as you're coming in for this attack. And you gotta think about like, 
where you're gonna land, where you're gonna take off from, if you land in a locked base, how are you gonna escape, you know? I mean, it's just proof that it's not gonna break the game, and it's not gonna make raiding too easy, and it's not gonna be overpowered. And look right here, you got shot down, like, that's just with small arms, like little rifles, AKs, like M16s maybe, so it's definitely showing you, you're not this invincible, like, just bird in the sky that's just gonna, like, terrorize the entire map, so I think balancing was done well here, and you could tell from this little clip, so I wouldn't be too worried about planes um, breaking the game in any way, at least not at this point. And speaking of getting shot down, that brings us to parachutes. Parachutes, it says, bring new movement mechanics, new respawn system, sky jumping mid air poses to the game, which all sounds super fun. I mean, mid air poses and sky jumping, maybe we could like base jump off of, you know, the dam or from planes frequently or something like that. Uh, new uh, respawn system, is it gonna be like the battle royale system? You dropping in with the boys at like Tilted Towers kind of thing, who knows? I just know it looks great. You got a little parachute with a Tech 01 logo and a little animation of the uh, player character <laughs> dropping in, and it just looks so badass. Like, look how cool that looks. <laughs> they put so much work into this, and they had some videos of uh, people testing out the mocap, and it looked very painful, but they put a lot of heart into what they're doing, and I haven't seen really a developer as small as Gamepires do something as impressive as this, especially that late into the game. They're revamping the respawn system. That's going to be super cool. Uh, it also does main that you're gonna have to take in mind people are gonna see where you're landing now they're potentially gonna know exactly where you're gonna you know hit the ground at and they might hunt you because you're in your orange shoot still so that's another thing you're gonna have to take into account we'll see though and that brings us to outpost it looks like they'll bring us new poi locations npc traders mechanic general store armory etc uh so let's see um, I'm super excited for Outposts. Um, I think out of everything Point Seven has to offer, it's the NPCs and the Outposts that I'm more excited for than anything else. And that's just because I think Scum gets a bit dry after you've been playing for a while once you get kitted up. It's like, where else will I go? I think we need some missions. We need some NPCs where we can trade with, you know, sell things, you know, build something up like a, a late game gameplay. And here's one of the coolest screenshots. Like when I saw this the first time back in November of 2021, I was so excited. I was like, we're getting Outposts, we're getting NPCs. Bars, prisons, ambulances, barracks, armories, traders, guard towers, gas stations, mechanics, all this good stuff was coming to scum. And I was super hyped about it. It's saying like this is what one of the islands um, was going to look like once they add it to the actual game. And we are getting outposts in point seven. Can't wait. Here's a little um, <coughs> reel of a uh, player character walking through one of the outposts in game. They said this may not represent like what the final outpost will look like, um, and it doesn't have like any audio, so we can tell what the ambience is gonna be like. But it, it looks cool. You could already see like there's a little bar. Um, you could see there's that bank, a little mechanic shop back uh, over there. Is at least that's what it looks like to me. And then that cuts to this next clip over here, which is another outpost on an island. This one looks like it could be bigger. And look at that, look how beautiful that is. They put the snow on the buildings to match the environment. You got the car shop confirmed right there. You got guard towers, you got a gate around the whole place. It just looks great. It looks like it's gonna be a really cool hub to come hang out with friends and just, you know, relax a little bit in the um, Scum Island and not just be on edge. I think it's gonna be a really cool addition to things like the safe zone and, um, <clears throat> I think it's going to add so much to the game, especially on servers where you have a really friendly community built up. I can't wait to see what people are going to do with the areas like the outposts. And that brings us to the best part of the outposts, in my opinion, which is the NPCs. And from left to right, it looks like we got an armorer, um, a banker, either a mechanic or a fisherman. Oh yeah, definitely a mechanic. I don't know what the guy in the middle is. Maybe he's a general trader. They already confirmed the uh, woman with the mohawk is gonna be the bartender. She won't be in the game at point seven. I'll confirm that later. Um, to the right of her, we have the fisherman or boat slash fishing supply store. And then we have the medic or like ambulance. So um, those are all coming to the game. Maybe not all of them point seven, but um, they will be there at some point and that's confirmed. So that's gonna be really cool to be able to use these as a player in game anytime you go to one of these outposts so starting from left to right let's take a look at the armory it says this is going to be what the armory looks like you got a little uh, like zoomed out picture you can see it's from thomas love pongratch himself so this is from his own twitter uh, all of this information is pulled from his twitter so it's from the actual you know uh, head of game design itself so you know this is going to be legit stuff you can see a ton of guns in there you can see a ton of um you know, camouflage, ghillie suits, water, boots, all kinds of good stuff. And 
If you look closely at the right of behind the actual gun counter, you can see things like some launchers, you can see what appears to be um, some new rifles like an HK type, you can see like some lathes, some uh, working like materials so you can potentially make ammo, repair your weapons, you can see some body armor, it looks like there's a minigun, it looks like there's all kinds of good stuff that's coming. I can't say all of that will be here when point seven drops, but the fact that they're putting this out there shows that they do have big plans for, you know, weapons in the future of the game. And that is super exciting. I mean, look at that. You have everything you could ask for there. Find guns, sell them to him, use the guns you sell them to buy better guns. It's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait. It's going to add so much content just from gameplay. And um, I think it's going to be cool. Next, we've got a concept picture of the mechanic shop, and you can see inside it's got all kinds of tools, tires, looks like there's a bunch of bumpers, uh, compressors, all kinds of stuff you would find in a typical, um, you know, workshop or chop shop, maybe in this case, um, on Scum Island. You gotta look at the attention to detail of what uh, the mechanic himself will look like, the car trader as they're calling him. Uh, look inside there. You got gas cans. You've got the counter. I think it's going to be really cool. I like how you repair um, vehicles in the game now, but I think it's going to add a lot more depth that you can, instead of having to look for hours to find a vehicle repair kit, um, you can probably just take it to this guy, do a mission for him, trade him some goods, or you just buy it with fame points maybe, and he can repair your car. I think that's going to be super valuable as uh, um, the gameplay goes on, especially when you're going to have to rely on vehicles potentially to get missions done and travel to new areas so um i think that's gonna just add so much depth that we really need it as far as vehicles go and they're also adding more vehicles to the game uh, you're gonna see these mad max looking uh things and um, more customizations coming that's gonna be really cool i don't have pictures of that just because it's not super exciting and it's stuff we already knew was coming but um this mechanic shop is definitely gonna be something that i personally can see myself using quite a bit 1.7 drops Next, that brings us to boats. Um, boats are really cool. I love driving them around in uh, Scum. I think the ocean and the fishing is great. I, I have a blast doing both those things. So being able to buy a boat, repair it, and get fishing supplies readily is gonna be super cool. All I have so far is this boat's for sale, like little shack, which looks cool, especially at night, like it's on a little swamp or bayou or something. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I haven't seen too much else as far as the boat shop goes, but here's this little tidbit. Um, I can't wait for that again. Like I love the boats, I love the fishing. Like that little meta game is super fun to me, especially when I'm not raiding or trying to survive. It's just nice to relax and get away. And they did it really well at Scum. So um, you'll definitely see me at the boat shop quite a bit, buying some tackle or, you know, maybe getting my boat's engine repaired. We'll see. Um, I can't wait to see what um, that's going to be like if they have this full range of stuff they're going to be selling or if it's just a few things. I don't know. I'm excited to see. And I think a little bit of mystery is always good. So you don't get overhyped or underhyped or you're disappointed or underwhelmed. So let's see um, what comes next. The next thing we have to look at is the bars. And from uh, Tomislav himself, he says they will not be available at 0.7. They'll be there, but you won't be able to go inside. They're gonna be closed. But he said, but we'll make sure they get open as soon as possible. So that's cool. We know we're gonna get the bars. I don't know if you guys have been to the bar in the city. It's pretty cool. It's got music, strobe lights, food in there, some lights. It's pretty cool actually. But this one you can see there is a room that looks like you're gonna be making use of the, I, I'll call it the romance system they're adding to scum. <laughs> Um, looks like you can gamble and there's those just cool neon signs. It looks like it's going to be like that saloon style, good Mad Max, like ragtag vibe looking thing. I don't know. It just looks super cool to me. I think this is going to be a cool place to meet with friends, maybe gamble for your fame points. Um, again, utilize that romance system. Although I don't know why you would because the current models they have for that aren't the most appealing. But um, here you have the bartender. Uh, so this is who they plan on putting in the bar. You can see in the most recent picture, she actually has pink hair now and she's got like that punk look to her. And uh, I'm pretty sure this is one of the meta human characters they put into the game. So based off somebody in real life. I think that's super cool. I'm glad Scum's doing that. Like just the amount of quality and time they're putting into the game is great. But um, even though we're not gonna see bars right at the drop of 0 0.7, hopefully it comes up really soon because I'm excited to see what bars have to offer. 
And that brings us to the next part of this, which is going to be the um, the bosses. And that that's interesting to me because you can see in this tweet right here that bosses will not be in 0.7, but they will be coming in the near future. Um, it's saying there will be a man or a woman in charge of things, and this is a concept for the boss room. They'll come to the game a bit later and will provide players with more important quests or missions. So you can get higher up missions, I guess maybe more story related missions probably from these bosses in the different areas. And I think that's going to be really cool to see. Personally, I think that uh, the characters they have for the quote unquote romance system would be better at looking as a boss. I think they fit the setting better in that role i could see both of these people sitting behind a desk you know using their loan sharks to get money from players who have debts stuff like that i don't know um i i, I don't know if this would be something people would want to pay for otherwise you know what i mean but uh yeah bosses i can't wait to see how that adds to the immersion of the game and i really want to see more of the scum universe fleshed out through the mission and um quest system that they will be adding to the game hopefully we get a lot of that in 0.7 maybe maybe not none of that's really been confirmed but i am really excited for missions nonetheless and here we have a little like demo of what it's going to be like inside one of the trader rooms it looks like this is like the general trader <laughs> you can see it's a placeholder puppet instead of the actual npc itself and then instead of a voice it's a boar so i think that's kind of funny i was just showing you what it's going to look like walking into one of these and i think it's kind of cool it's a nice atmosphere you can see it was like cobbled together with just resources found in world and classic scum style game pyres is just throwing a little uh puking animation just because that's what they do it's game pyres <laughs> and here you have the whole like metahuman system looks beautiful that's so cool like the f facial tracking looks really good in this game if i don't see and i'm really again, excited like these npcs i'll seem just like guess you uh, ran gonna into seem another like they're gonna be really fleshed out and have really deep um or i wouldn't say really deep you can't say yet but it looks like they're gonna have more personality and background that can add to the you know atmosphere and to the game world itself i think it's gonna be really immersive if really i don't cool. see you I again these NPCs are gonna be i'll just guess awesome you ran into another customer this brings us to the next part which is going to be the economic system it says there's gonna be in-game money trading exchanging and other things so uh hopefully we'll be able to come here which is the bank and this will be the center of the economy where we can sell things trade things uh, make some money and uh, potentially you know have a little economy based off of you know uh what things are going for in the server or what the value uh, based off of like gameplay in that particular server says these things should be valued at and here you have the tweet saying that this is the first pass for the economy prices of vehicles they might be altered till 0 0.7 but that tells me that whether that's the final iteration of them or not they will be in 0.7 so it looks like we will be getting an economy for sure when 0.7 drops and that's super cool and be able to purchase in car shops so this is just showing you like the values of the cars different models and what they're going to be going for based off the npc um i'm sure you can make your own rates and stuff when you're selling to other players and things like that and, uh, of course supply and demand and i just can't wait to see how this is fleshed out and it's actually going to work once we start playing it's going to be super cool to actually be able to sell stuff use fame points or use uh, the found in-game paper currency and um, i think it's going to be interesting to see how they balance this out and make it an actual usable system as for the final talking points for what I have to offer for the 0.7 update, we have the update parts. They're fixing a lot of things as far as server side performance. Servers are going to be running great now. Here, they're talking about how desync was an issue with the trucks. I'm sure many of you experienced if you were driving too fast, the map would de-render, your truck would fall through the map, or you'd drive into a building and explode and it was just a pain in the ass they fixed it for most people but here they're just proving that if you have a potato or a really shitty pc you're not going to run well that blue truck shows that they're running on a bad system whereas everyone else is running on the same ping with a better system so they're just saying pretty much get good not everything's on their end and um, if you're still having issues with it it's most likely client side or um, private server side rather than actual game stability um, rather than actual game stability issue. So that's just showing like they're, they're updating a lot. They're updating the cooking system. They're updating, um, 
a bunch of different character animations or adding a ton of clothing options. And um, speaking of clothing options, I'm gonna go over a lot of the things that uh, are coming to the game that have been confirmed between 0.6 and 0.7, but these things are confirmed to not actually be in the 0.7 update, that they're just being worked on simultaneously. And I'll talk about those really quick just because it'll build some hype and um, maybe if it gets interest, I can make some videos about those other topics. So let's go take a look at all of those. <clears throat> We've got the female clothes. The female clothes are doing a rework so they fit better on female models and they work better as far as the animations go. You can see from this tweet, it's probably not gonna be in 0.7, but it will be coming to the game. So there's just a quick look at uh, how those different styles are gonna be looking on the female body moving on. Uh, next we have the guns, you have the HS9. So it looks like it's gonna be a new nine millimeter based off one of the Croatian standard service pistols. Um, you're also going to get the new rifle, bullpup style. I don't remember the name of it. It looks super cool. Um, I can't wait to see it. looks like a really quality rifle. I'm a fan of it. Um, I can't wait to see that in the game. It's not confirmed whether uh, that's coming to 0.7. I know the pistol is not. They said that's going to be coming most likely in 0.8, but maybe we'll see a little glimpse of it. It already was in the uh, Christmas event uh, that Santa was holding the gun. Uh, there and it just looks so cool um, and you have a little picture of the grenade launcher attachment on the bottom of that So we're definitely gonna get some under barrel attachments. That's gonna be really cool I can't wait to see how they balance explosives that uh, that you fire uh, I imagine they're going to be an anti-sentry weapon or a raiding weapon probably super rare um, super rare excuse me um, but I, I'm excited to see it nonetheless like more content is better and I think adding stuff like grenade launchers and things like that is gonna be a ton of fun especially when it comes to PvP and I can't wait to see it in game <laughs> next we also have things like mr. Brenner here I'm not sure who he is what he has to do with scum but I know he is one of uh, probably the experiments by tech zero one along with the what are known as the wild hunters um, we have a little bit of a uh, information here from Tomislav saying that um, they were people, uh, mainly the women and children left behind after a war that were experimented on by the Tech Zero One Corporation and pretty much left on the island to die. Pretty dark, pretty grim stuff, but uh, these people that were modified genetically, had mutations, all kinds of other stuff going on, created new societies out there in the wilds of Scum Island, and that's where these little caves and stuff come into play. I imagine this is something for way down the road. I don't think they can implement all this in one little um, update, such as 0.7, which is already a huge update, but I mean, relatively speaking, this is gonna come down the road, but they have been talking about it quite a bit and dropping little pictures here and there of what they are are, what they'll look like, where they'll be located, and it just looks really exciting. And if you guys are looking at this little like effigy thing in these caves, um, if you played the game The Forest, which is one of my favorite games, I'm really getting some heavy forest vibes from this, and um, I don't know, I think it's going to be super cool. They look like they're going to obviously be pretty hostile towards the player characters, maybe there will be factions, different tribes that aren't, you can work with them or not. I imagine they're going to tie into the story and the missions you'll get, but um, either way, it's shaping up to be a huge and just awesome fleshed out game and we're, we have never seen anything like it before all in all 0. 0.7 is going to be awesome we got planes we got parachutes we got npcs we got outposts we just have so much coming to one of the best games ever survival wise and i think this is why scum is just leagues ahead of miscreated um it blows daisy out of the water it's way better than seven days to die it's just something that is so out of the level of the other indie games coming out in the survival genre that it's just gonna be light years ahead of everybody. And, you know, people might say Game Pires is being too ambitious, so they're biting off more than they can chew, but they deliver. Every time they deliver and every update has made the game better and better and better, and they're working on balancing and stability, and they're doing it all at the same time with such a small team, and to me, that's impressive. I think that's amazing, and I think more video game devs should be like this. Uh, considering Rockstar and their whole fiasco with the remastered, you know, one, two, and three. Um, Halo Infinite was a huge, like, mess up. And then you got Cyberpunk. Like, it's just game development is asking for more and more money and giving less and less to the players. And Game Pires is really contradictory to that whole business model of money first, uh, players second. Like, they don't care about consumers. 
but Game Pyres does, and I, I love them for that, and I'm, I will be a loyal follower to their games um, in the future years coming. So hopefully you guys learned a lot about what Point Seven will have to offer and what you can expect from it, and also what you uh, <clears throat> shouldn't get disappointed about if you don't see it in the Point Seven update, and rest assured it will be coming later on. So um, hopefully you guys are as hyped and excited as I am. From the tweets, it looks like it's coming very, very soon, maybe even in the morning, maybe even by the time this video is uploaded, we'll already have Point Seven. Who who knows i had to make this video either way because i'm just super excited about it even though i've been taking breaks from scum it's just this is what i've been waiting for um lately uh and this is just a note for my subscribers i've had a lot of health issues lately i just got out of the hospital i was there for um three days i had essentially a stroke so i'm recovering from that i'm only 26 years old so um it's kind of a challenging point in my life i'm pretty healthy so there's just other issues going on I want this to work. I really want to build my channel and do all kinds of great things. It's just every time I get into the rhythm of making content and putting out videos and editing them and doing bigger and better things, something comes up in my life. And it's just, uh, for all of you that have stuck along with me on this journey so far, I really appreciate it. I'm not, you know, affiliated with anybody. I'm not monetized yet. But again, this is just a passion of mine. I like to make these videos. It's a lot of fun for me. I don't make money doing it. Maybe I can one day, but that's dependent on the community we make around Scum and other games. So hopefully if you guys are interested, you'll contact me if you want to make videos with me or maybe get access to my private server. That'd be really cool. Uh, check out my Discord. Check out my... Um, Instagram and of course my actual YouTube channel if you're not subscribed yet and just you know be in contact with me tell me what you want to see tell me what I could do better and uh, just be part of our little community so we could grow into something bigger and better so thanks for watching you all are amazing love you all hope you guys have a great time playing scum and Elden Ring because that just dropped I've been playing Elden Ring like, play, uh, like crazy I'm an addict to that so I don't know how I'm gonna balance 0 0.7 in Elden Ring but I'll make it work one way or another so again thank you for watching your support is amazing love all you guys and I'll catch you in the next video peace